Hey, Andre, what's good? Hey, what's, what's good? Up, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Um, mm, mm, uh, we, oh, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's try this. Yeah. Oh, right. no. oh, what? 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 Oh. Mm. Never, never no, wait. No, that's oh, right there. Oh, man. You're all sweaty, man. I walked here? Dude, don't you live, like, right next door? I'm trying to celebrate Chinese New Year before it's too late. Isn't it the year of the dog, the monkey, the fish? Dude, it's, uh, the year of the pig. This is so good. I got us some authentic Chinese food. You didn't have to bring food, you know? Yeah, man, that w w walk and roll? Is that authentic Chinese food to you? That's not really authentic Chinese food, though. Well, the restaurant's called Walk and Roll. That sounds very Chinese to me. They even gave me a fortune cookie, see? No, 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 man. No. I'm gonna cook you some real Chinese food. Now this is real Chinese food. Is that really Chinese food? Where's the color? And is that teriyaki sauce? This is a dish from the Xi'an province called Biang Biang noodles. Really? How about orange chicken? You guys make the best orange chicken. Dude, I need to give you a history lesson. Wow, that's a little too much. Ow, oh, why'd you hit me with that for? We just went back in time. We went back in time with this? Yeah, it's a magic spatula, you know, it was passed down to me from generation to generation. Is that why all your food tastes so good? Nah, it's all the MSG that I use. And what are we doing here for? See them? That's my great-great-grandfather, and that's his brother. Yeah, they used to own a Chinese restaurant in San Francisco in like the early 1900s. Do they sell orange chicken? Nah, orange, orange chicken wasn't invented until the 80s, man. For reals? Hey brother. Hey brother. What? Did you buy the duck? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Don't worry. You are so lazy. How can I not worry? You call me lazy? You have no idea how much stuff I do for you. Okay, okay. Just pass me the salt. Here. Are they mad at each other? Why are they yelling? They're just Chinese, bro. Brother, hey brother, s s some Americans are coming. What? They want to eat here? I guess. But my English is not that good. It's not right. Our voices are dubbed, so we'll be fine. Right, voiceover person? It's fine. I know enough English. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Chinaman. Is your food any good here? Yes, 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 yes. Are you sure you don't cook a rat? No, 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 no rat, no rat. Well, what do you serve here? Here, 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 menu, menu. Do you have anything less weird? Like normal food? You want normal food? I make you normal food. What should we make for them? I only know how to make Chinese food. What if we make them chicken feet? No, that's too weird for them. How about we make fish head? No. Then we could make intestines. Hell no, they won't eat that. Well, what should we make for them then? I learned this dish from Yang in his restaurant in New York. He just fried up leftovers. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, chop up those vegetables. I'll fry up some leftover meat. Chop them up to smaller pieces, so they won't notice what it is. Good idea! No more 
tofu from China. This is good. Really good. Good job, China man. From then on, they have been getting more American customers. They got really popular in San Francisco, and then his brother decided to open up his own restaurant. They never left Chinatown because they didn't know about American culture and were too afraid to get harassed by the Americans. So instead, through what we know now as American Chinese food, the Americans began visiting Chinatowns and were able to accept the Chinese community more. Not just in San Francisco, but in other Chinese communities around the U.S. Without the creative culinary trickery, who knows how else Chinese Americans would find their place in the U.S. This is just one example of how Chinese Americans strived and survived just to be called an American. Dude, I learned a lot. Yeah, I guess we're done here. I really need to update the graphics on this. So how'd you like our little time travel? I learned so much just through Chinese food alone. We should do this again next time. Sure, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I'm good for now. So what are we going to do with all this Chinese food? Actually, I got a better idea. Mexican food. Taco Bell. This is my favorite Mexican joint. It's cleaner and better for sure. Hey guys. Hey Karen, what's up? Hey, nothing much. What are you guys doing here? We're just getting some really good Mexican food. Really? Here? Aren't they voted the best Mexican restaurant in the United States? That means it's gotta be good. Are you kidding me? I don't really get why Mexicans don't like it though. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Not again. You guys need a history lesson.